Hello, Patrick. Hello, Thomas. And hello to all of you. Once again, we're here in the Volkswagen Canada Training Centre in Ajax, Ontario. And today, we've got something a little different. Two somethings, as a matter of fact. We have the Atlas and the Atlas Crossport. Now, typically, we start these videos at the front of the car. But today, most of the action is happening at the rear. That's because with the Atlas and the Atlas Crossboard, most of the differences can be seen here at the rear view. Let's start with the little brother, the Atlas Crossboard. Of course, with the Atlas, Volkswagen established itself as a purveyor of large intermediate SUVs with six and seven seating capacity. However, with the Atlas Crossboard, they've shaved a few centimeters from the length of the car, given it a faster roof line, and removed the third row of seats for a truly cavernous cargo area. Cavernous trunk. Patrick, I live in Toronto, and I've seen apartments that were smaller than this. This is more than cavernous. No question. Little, of course, is a relative term. There's also some styling differences you'll see, like these different taillights, a steeper rear glass, and as I mentioned before, a steeper lower roof line giving the vehicle a more grounded stance. Now, outside of the rear end of the car, what other differences can we find between the two? I mean, the big one that you'll see inside, as I mentioned, is the third row of seating. So if you want to open the trunk lid on that Atlas, we'll see that this particular model has three rows of seats and, of course, a spacious first and second row. And in the middle, you can choose either six with captain's chairs or seven passenger seating with a middle bench. Fantastic. What about powertrains? What are we looking at here? So the drivetrains in Atlas and Atlas Crossport come in two flavors, but no matter what you choose, every Atlas or Crossport has an eight-speed automatic transmission and Volkswagen's standard four-motion all-wheel drive system. Now, there's a two-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine that produces 235 horsepower and 259 pound-feet of torque. There is also an optional 3.6-liter V6 producing 276 horsepower and 266 pound-feet of torque. Wow. Both of those engines sound pretty impressive, but why would I pick one over the other? The good news is it's really a matter of personal preference. Both engines are powerful, torquey, and efficient. But if you have to draw an objective line between the two of them somewhere, it's really around the towing capacity. So the two liter engine, irrespective of the model you choose, can tow up to 2,000 pounds. But if you really want to haul more, the V6 has a 5,000 pound towing capacity, great for larger boats or trailers, it actually comes with a factory installed class three trailer hitch. So nice clean integration in the lower bumper. All right, so if it's the jet skis, I'm going with the turbocharged four. And if it's something just a little bit bigger, I'm gonna go with the V6. I love it, thank you. Patrick, tell me about the cockpit. Let's go take a look. In a word, Thomas, well thought out. That's three words, Patrick. Okay, fair, but nonetheless, Everything in the interior of the Atlas is well considered to improve the experience for the driver and passengers. I'm a particular fan of the lovely brown leather in this example, the contrast stitching, the big comfortable armrest, there's tons of storage, but let's talk about some of the convenience features. In front of you is Volkswagen's Digital Cockpit Pro. Instead of just regular old gauges, which you can still get in digital form, it shows you a wide range of other information and it can even be reconfigured to suit your needs. I can see that right now you have the map display up in the instrument cluster. This is such a cool feature because it allows you to keep your eyes closer to the road, less distraction. Patrick, you know how much I like my music. We've got you covered there too. And no, it's not gonna play your gramophone collection or your old vinyl records, but we do have an awesome wireless app connect system. This allows you to connect to all of your smartphone's great applications wirelessly, including a wireless phone charging function. All right, no gramophones, not so good. No wires, that's good. Absolutely, and as far as sound quality, if you're pulling down from your favorite streaming service through Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you can hear it in the crystal clear sound of the Fender 12-speaker premium audio system with a subwoofer. Cool. 
but don't forget about the safety features. Absolutely essential, especially for a car that's as good on road trips as this one is. The Atlas comes available with a wide range of driver assistance technologies, my personal favorites being the adaptive cruise control system with full stop and go, and the lane keep assist system that works in concert with it. No, the car will not drive itself for you, and after all, Volkswagen is a company that prides itself on the driving experience, but it will nonetheless reduce your fatigue on a long drive. Sounds like a plan. But if looks are more your thing, both of the vehicles with us here today have the optional R-Line appearance package. The R-Line package is an available option on top of the exec line trim of both the Atlas and the Atlas Crossboard. Now, R is a hearkening back to the legendary R performance division of the Volkswagen brand, which means that this package brings with it sporty styling elements, like a reshaped front bumper with bolder, larger air intakes, my favorite, the 21-inch Brazelton aluminum alloy wheels, and a wide range of touches across and inside the vehicle, like special badging, special trim decor, aluminum pedals, even an R-Line specific heated steering wheel. Sounds like you can get your Atlas or your Atlas Cross Sport with any level of bling that you want, Patrick. That's right, but of course you don't need the R-Line package to get a great looking Atlas. And don't forget, wide range of awesome color options, including this racing green, this pure gray, even different leather options. My particular favorites are the Moro Brown and the Burgundy. Very nice choices, Patrick. And for all of you, please go to vw.ca where you can spec and price your own Atlas or Atlas Cross Sport. There's full details in there. You can use our build-in price feature to create your own Atlas or Atlas Cross Sport. You can find the dealer closest to you. And from the comfort of your own couch, you can even check our online inventory. It's all there. It's all on vw.ca. Thanks for watching. Volkswagen.